Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Nellis Animal Room. I am Nell, of course. And this will be a video, guys. I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks on how to breed guppies. No, in no way, I am not an expert. I just want to tell you guys what has been working for me. As you can see, I have been pretty successful. Um, with that in mind, obviously, guys, I'm not an expert or anything like that. Uh, this is, as I said, just stuff that... Uh, is working for me and um yeah hopefully this will give you some ideas if you're struggling struggling while your guppies are not breeding or if you are looking to get into breeding guppies hopefully this this video can help you out a little bit as you can see there is uh, a few fries uh, in the tank which i don't know if they like somehow go out the net when i was doing a water change or if I just never seen them because they've been hiding in the plants, but they are a big enough size, so I don't need to worry about them uh, getting eat, 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 eaten by any chance. They're not fries, you can see. They're quite big. And then I got about 15 guppies, uh, baby fry guppies in this net. Um, no, I know the water looks a bit weird. That's just, <coughs> excuse me, that, that I didn't clean the back uh, of the tank, like the glass. So it's kind of giving like a weird shade, but um, I kind of like it. It's going to my uh, bucket through watching this other way. Uh, so yeah, number one is don't overpower the females with males. You always want to have a few more females than males. So for example, if you have one male, get m minimum of two females. So, if you have 10 males in your tank, I would recommend getting 15 females. Now, obviously, make sure that your tank is big enough to hold that amount of fish. You might say my tank is a little bit overstocked. I don't really see that because the fish are doing fine. Um, you know, obviously, as long as you, you, keep, you keep up with your uh water changes and maintenance you fish should be fine um so always have at least two to three more females than males so in this tank i have i think like six males and i have no five males and i have seven females i'm pretty sure to do i'm trying to count it quick but uh, hold on, see, one, two, three, four, oh, okay, so I have four males, I think, anyway, I have around four to five males, and I have seven or eight females, something along that, so you can see, uh, this guppy, they still didn't give uh, the fries, um, she's like, due <laughs> to basically give birth to the face anytime um so is that one there i would say this one is a little bit closer um so yeah also uh how you can encourage gap guppy breeding is you want to ha don't have a bear tank have some plants have some ornaments have a rock as you can see i have two life plants i have some sort of a cave and i have a life rock maybe it's not life rock and i have a rock um actually the reason i got this rock is one because it looks cool in the tank and two it uh, it hardens the water a little bit which also encourages the breeding if you guys change up the water just by a small bit obviously don't change it like uh a lot because that can harm your fish but just a little bit so this rock actually raises the hardness of this water in the tank just by a small amount a very minimum amount but it's enough to encourage the guppies to breed um have some spaces for the females to hide uh when they had enough from the males uh, so they can get away and get some rest um that's that and also why you want to have some plants or some ornaments is 
um, because when your female guppies get pregnant and when they release the fries, the weird thing about guppies is uh, once the female gu guppy gives birth to the fries, most likely they will go uh, if, and eat them, which I know is weird, but if you have some hiding spaces for the fries before you manage to spot them and net them out, and trust me, I know sometimes it's very hard to spot a fry. Um, at, at least they will have somewhere to hide away from the uh, to the uh, from from the ad adult guppies. Uh, uh, there we go. And obviously, you want to have some sort of a breeding net or a box. This is a breeding net, and I have a breeding box, so I have two just in case. And yo, look how big that fry got! Damn. Um. So that's that. Also, for guppies, I would keep the temp around, let's see, what is it, my tank? Uh, 26 degrees. Um, there is, I don't know, 26 degrees. Um, so, I would say anyway, maybe like around minimum 24, but I keep it at 26. That's the same that I do with my community tank. This water is at 26. Uh, it's not gonna focus, but yeah. Just give you guys a quick look. Yes, there is my favorite fish, the pleco. Uh, the gold nugget pleco, but anyway. Um, so, as I was saying guys, this is just some basics, obviously. You need to have a established tank. Make sure that it's a tank that can hold the amount of guppies that you want. And then keep in mind that you're going to have uh, more gu more guppies when they start breeding. So you might be like, but no, this tank is a little bit overstocked. It's not really, but it might get overstocked once I get more fries. But I have, a, uh, but I have another tank that I can put them in just in case. Um, so... Uh, for the substrate, it doesn't really matter. I just, uh, before I had this copy tank, my last copy tank, it was gravel, but the sand looks a lot nicer. I know it's a little bit messy, but that's just how guppies are. And yeah, guys, you might see, I do a bigger water change in my copy tank than in my uh, community tank because they shed a lot more than my big tank, which is weird because they're, they're tiny fish, but they make so much mess. Um, so, and also, let's say that you guys do a 20% water change weekly, which is what I do. If, if your guppies are still not really breeding, uh, do maybe like a 30% water change. Give, give them a nice clean big water change and that should encourage them. That is what had, what had worked for me uh, when I've my first guppy tank for two months i had no fries no nothing i'm like you know what i'll do a bigger water change i done a 50 percent which isn't really the best but i done a 50 percent water change and a week later <laughs> i could see the females uh, hold, holding fry and uh, so that's that but if you guys are doing a 20 percent try a 30 percent and that should work and also uh what i would recommend also is uh, keeping your light down so let's say that you have your light on for eight hours a day maybe cut it down to seven that again worked for me i don't know as you can see i have live plants so i kind of need to have the, have the light on for a certain amount so the live plants can grow uh, but guys so quick quick recap have some hiding hiding space spaces for the fries and also for the fem for for the females if they get sick of the mess chasing them um be ready don't be like me and have a breeding net before they start breeding because i literally at when i found my guppy flies in my first guppy tank it was 10 o'clock at night i think and i couldn't get a breeding net so but thankfully the fries had some places to hide, so the fish, so the adult guppies didn't eat them, thankfully. Um, 
And hey guys, uh, also maybe a small little tiny amount, I mean like literally a minimum amount of a change within the water pattern in a minute. Uh, so such as hardening the water just a little bit guys, don't overdo it. If it's not enough, you can do it more, but you can just do a tiny bit, okay? And uh, also I would uh, do some more research on that. Obviously guys, you don't want to harm your fish in any way. But as I said, I got a rock. No, I think this is a live, a live rock. But this rock hardens the tank water just by a small bit, just by a tiny, tiny bit. And that encourages the guppies to breed. And look how amazing that guppy is though. Um, so yeah guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching, obviously guys. I said I am not an expert, it's just stuff that, that had worked for me and as you can see, it did work. Um, but I think the biggest two things that work is one, uh, just taking good good care good care of them, feeding them good quality flakes, some good quality tro tropical flakes. Uh, and I also feed mine some frozen brine shrimp. And also have a... Uh, have a good set, set up tank with some high, with, with some hiding spaces um, and what what really encouraged mine was a bigger water change than usual now I am back to doing a 20 to 25 percent water change on this tank maybe around 30 um, and the, since I put a rock in they have been breeding a lot more which is because the rock has hardened the water just a little bit um, which had encouraged them to breed but uh, as I said, it just hardens the, wa the, the water just by a small bit um, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching every day enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment and I may, I'm, I might make like a follow up video to this um, but I might just write some stuff down so I can explain a bit better but hopefully you guys could get some tips and ideas on how to breed guppies or how to get started and um, bye guys thank you so much for watching once again it's been Nero of Nellis Animal Room and I'll see you all in the next one bye